Hi, we've been talking about the debit credit rules and the accounting equation. And so far, we've looked at the debit and credit rules for assets, liabilities, and stockholders' equity. Now we're ready to sell something. Remember, we're in that homework business. And in that homework business, what would we sell? Homework to other students. And we would sell it at mass quantities of price, wouldn't we? So I have my homework done for this chapter, and I offer it out on eBay to uh, other students. And I set a price on it of um, $10 for one problem. Uh, okay, so I get a taker who says, hey, I'm interested in buying your homework. Have we got a give get yet? No. Hmm. When will we have a transaction? Well, we'll have a transaction when either they give me their credit card number, in other words, I sell it on account, or unless they give me cash. So let's look at those two transactions. If I have a sales on account, in other words, they give me a credit card number, what would it, how would I communicate that in English? Well, sales on account says, which asset is going up? It's accounts receivable. So I would be debiting accounts receivable for $10, and I'm because the asset account receivable is increasing. And I'm going to credit the account sales because I had homework sales. So what does a credit do to a revenue account? Well, credit increases a revenue account. So notice that revenue accounts act like liability stockholders equity. Notice there's pluses in between them. So this makes sense that credits increase liabilities, stockholders equity, and revenue accounts. All right, so sales on account, I debited accounts receivable because the customer's promising to pay me in the future cash and credit sales. Now, what would happen if the customer pays their bills? In other words, sends me cash. So, customer pays bills. What am I getting as a corporation? Well, I'm going to get cash. What happens when I get cash? I debit cash because I deposit that cash in the bank. So I'm going to debit cash for that $10. What would I credit? Because remember, for every debit in the world, there's a credit. Well, what's being reduced? Well, what's being reduced is my accounts receivable. What makes an asset go down? A credit. So I'm going to credit accounts receivable for the amount of cash. So notice here, the give-get is exchanging one asset or one resource for another resource. All right. What now? Just to make sure you've got it. What would I do if I sold my homework for cash? In other words, I'm saying, I'm not giving you my homework until I see the money. If I sell the homework for cash, that means my cash is going to go up which means debit cash, which means I need a credit. What am I going to credit? I'm going to credit revenue or homework sales, aren't I? Which makes sense because we said credits increase revenue accounts. Well, tell me if the student didn't like the homework and they said, I want my money back. What would happen? Well, the give get there would be the company, homework corporation, would have to give them their cash back which means what? I'd credit cash. And what would I have to debit? Homework revenue, because the homework revenue, oops, I didn't make a sale. They returned it. Does this make sense? I hope so. So that's the revenue side of it. Um, let's leave it here, and then stay tuned. We're going to talk about expenses next.